Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this effect that you're seeing on screen now. Sort of like an RGB wave effect that you can apply to the models. Alright, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the green screen and the world layers. If you don't have this, you'll need to rotoscope manually. Uh, in my last video, I show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, but it is very time consuming. If you do have the green screen and world layer, it makes it a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing. So just get the world and green screen layer, import it into a new composition. So here is the clip, and so what we need to do is apply a key light to it. So just add key lights and remove the green screen. Now, if you do have this slight issue where you see like a sort of outline around the models, just go to screen mats in key lights and set the clip black to 22, and that should get rid of it. And once you have that done, we need to duplicate this green screen layer. So just press Control D, and that will duplicate it. Uh, next, we need to add S Distort RGB to the first layer. So just add that to the clip, like so. It will look like this. Set the mode to add. That way, we see a better result. And then we need to play around with the amounts and the lens blur. So you may want to mess around with this. So let's go set it to that and. Something like that's probably fine. Uh, next, we're going to add levels. And then I'm just going to bring the left arrow to the right a bit so it doesn't uh, cover up the screen so much, like so. Then add a few and saturation. And once you have that done, you want to crank the saturation all the way to 100. That way it makes everything nice and vibrant. Then after that, you want to add deep blow. So just Add deep blur like so, and you want to turn down the exposure to something like 0.1 and the radius to something like 300. And now we're going to want to keyframe it. So the warp direction, so just go to the start of the clip and press to stop watch on the warp direction. Go to the end of the clip, and then we're just going to want to crank it. So like that. Now, what we're also going to want to do is uh, keyframe the hue. So again, go to the very start of the clip, press. Uh, the stopwatch next to color range and just go to the end of the clip again and then just rotate the view a couple of times. Alright, so once you have all that done, you can duplicate the first layer again, bring it below the normal green screen layer, and then we're going to add turbulent displace. So just add that to the clip, and uh, we need to uh, increase the amounts as well as you might want to decrease the size a bit. Uh, otherwise it might look a bit too much and then increase the complexity as well so something around two maybe um so yeah that is the effect it's pretty simple and easy to do and um a lot of people keep asking me about it so there it is hopefully you found this tutorial helpful um thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.